Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a gift that my dad got me for Christmas, and it is Darth Nihilus from the Gaming Greats line. Um, a figure that I absolutely missed out on because he was up for pre-order some time ago for GameStop. I mean, obviously this is like old style box here. Um, and I never pre-ordered him. I don't remember what I was doing, but I just totally missed him. And it was definitely one that I never, ever found in stores after that. So um, I am very excited. He found this at a comic book shop while he was in another part of Texas for a good while. And um, yeah, I'm very, very stoked about it. Looks like it's in great condition and the figure itself is just fantastic. I mean, this is like, goes perfectly with like Darth Revan and stuff. So uh, anyways, here he is. He is in a black and red box, uh, gaming great sticker. Really cool picture of Darth Nihilus there. Really, really neat. Uh, obviously, this was always a big fan favorite figure for people, I think. Um, and then see it come into Black Series form is fantastic, in my opinion. On the side, Gaming Greats again, up top. And then just actually really exactly same as our old boxes. I'm so glad we moved away from this box style, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, I don't think I mentioned he is from Knights of the Old Republic. I was going to say, like, let's get him open. But uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2, I do believe. Yeah, and it shows the game right there. Um, I think I've only ever played Knights of the Old Republic, but they are doing a remake um, of one of the two. So I'm excited for that when it comes to PlayStation. But let's go ahead and open this guy up and we'll take a closer look at him. All right. And here is Darth Nihilus. Before we go on to him, though, I do want to give you guys a look at his accessory, which is just his lightsaber here. Um, it is quite an interesting look. Um, just silver, so that's relatively plain, but I do like that they have his own, you know, custom handle. Um, no other detailing other than the sculpting and it just being silver, but it looks pretty, uh, delicate and efficient, I guess. Um, it comes with a red blade, looks a little bit pink in the light, I think, but, um, there it is. So it is good that we have it. Hopefully it'll focus in there if it hasn't already. So there's that. Um, Darth Nihilus himself looks pretty cool. From right off the bat, I can like literally tell by feeling this figure that they reuse a lot of Darth Maul's parts. That's kind of weird, but like just his stance that you get from him is like, you can tell. Uh, his face looks fantastic. That paint is really clean. I love that his chin is exposed underneath the mask. It looks really, really cool that way, in my opinion. The, the painting is clean. I mean, this is definitely one of those masks where it's got to be really clean because there's so little... Uh, color on it and detail in that. Um, he's got a slightly pointed hood, which looks really good. Moving into the body there, that torso looks like Darth Maul. Pretty sure it's reused. Um, not sure about the lower part, but the legs underneath definitely are. But I like the tattering that we have along here. And then moving on to the boot, boots, which I think are even the exact same. I would honestly have to pull down my Darth Maul. I really don't want to because he's like way up there, to be honest. But um, I am, I'm almost certain that this is a reuse. Um, at least some of it is. Uh, the cape is pretty nice feeling. It's pretty heavy. Um, just plain black, nothing overly large. So I appreciate that. Um, it just barely covers him. So he's definitely not full regalia here. He's down to business. Uh, like I said, I like the kind of tattering around here. The boots might be a little bit different. Um, looks like maybe they've changed up the sculpt of the boots. Overall, he looks really cool, though. He's just one of those plain black Sith, but his the, the important part is his head. The head makes it. Um, and again, a bit of an old figure, so sorry for that. But, ah, uh, he is so cool looking. So cool. And, you know, I'm not 100% sure, but is he supposed to have eye pupils? Um, I don't remember, but they didn't paint them in. You could just see the eye, uh sculpt underneath but uh not too bad in terms of articulation his head moves it looks like his head and his uh hood or his cowl are all one piece which is is fine um so his head moves <clears throat> we're gonna have shoulder articulation elbows wrists torso um yeah he's got yeah he's got a bit of an ab crunch right there moves around just a little bit uh he's got ball joints in the hips swivel thighs you can see the swivel mark right there Double pin knees and then movement in the ankles. Pretty typical for a black series figure. Not too bad. He is really dang cool. I've got to find a cool pose to put him in. Um, but I am very excited to have this figure finally at last. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think about Darth Nihilus in the comments below. Were you able to find him when he came out? Um, is this an interesting Sith to you? My favorite is Darth Revan still, but I am so excited to have another old world Sith join him. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.